All right, Reset Era is weirdos. I feel like a lot of these game journalists is nutcases these days. Compared to like 10, 15 years ago when I was a kid, when it was like all about the games. And now every game journalist nowadays, at least most of them that's in the mainstream, um, basically tries to just, uh, what's the proper word for it? They try to uh, basically be social justice warriors these days, and it's just so weird because it's like I remember when I was a kid, um, it was just about the games, and nowadays they're so focused on um, who's who and who sleeps with what and what happens in the world instead of just worrying about a video game. You know what I'm saying? Instead of worrying about what's good about the game, what's fun about the game, what's good about the uh, storyline. Too many people are worried about what's lewd and what's not and what's fun and what's crude instead of worrying about the fun part of the game and enjoyable parts of the story. Um, I'm so pissed off about uh, Mass Effect that they're censoring it. And I'm anti-censorship when it comes to anything. Anime, manga, video games, just give me what it is. Um, it, let me decide what I can and can't handle. Do not try to uh, censor what I can handle instead of just giving me what I want. You know what I'm saying? If I want to watch a movie with somebody getting murdered, I don't want to not see the blood. I don't want to see the person not be mayhem or ripped apart. I just want to see what happened. Stop trying to tell me what I can and can't do. That's what I feel like a lot of these so-called uh, weirdos on Twitter, blue check marks, blue haired freaks tr tend to do. They want to keep you from enjoying life. They want you to be like them, a weirdo that hates everything and everything's racist and everything's dumb and I hate every like they want me to fucking kill myself. Basically, that's how I feel like every day. They want everybody to fucking kill themselves. I feel like a lot of these people just want us to end ourselves. Sometimes I feel like because they just go on and on about senseless situations that it's not always this case. Not everybody's racist, and not everybody's a loser. Not everybody's famous. Not everybody's rich. Everybody's not everything. And if people think because you're diverse, you don't have the same mindset for a lot of this stuff. I do. I, I, I want to see Superman as Superman. I don't need an extra diverse cast. I'm not saying I'm not going to be upset or happy if there's extra black people or whatever race there is in there. I'm not going to be mad or happy. It's just going to be is what it is. I usually don't tend to look for shows based on race. I base it on usually, um, is that, am I going to enjoy it? Is it going to be entertaining? And I feel like a lot of shows too focused on I don't know what it, what the word is to call it, but it's just not entertaining, man. It's like, I just want to be entertained. I don't care about BLM. I never have. Um, I know I'm black. I should, I probably should, but I don't care. I really don't. I don't care. I, I, I didn't burn nobody house. I didn't break in those stores. I, I just felt like I felt sorry for dude who passed away. A, few, a couple of people I actually knew that died and I feel sorry for them. I pray for the family, but it's no reason for me to have to suffer with horrible Star Trek and horrible Star Wars because of, I don't know, Me Too and slash BLM. Because before those two things happened, I was having a good time watching television. And then ever since all these, the Me Too era and then the BLM era, it's nothing but trash TV shows. I find myself watching SG-1, which I enjoyed when, at the time when I was a kid when it came out. But it's sad I got to go back and watch old stuff to have any entertainment because everything now is completely trash, man. And it's like, how am I going to enjoy anything of today when it's so damn docile? And I'm not the smartest man in the room. I'm not going to even try to fake and lie and act like I'm a super genius. I'm Maybe I'm even below average, but I know when something's dumb as fuck. 
You know, and it's like, bro, I just want to enjoy life. I mean, I'm a, I'm a nerd. I'm a little bit of a loser. And I'm fine with that. I just want to enjoy my television. I, I, I just want to watch good anime, good sci-fi. That's all I want. I'm not asking for much. I'm not asking to become a billionaire. I just want to have good TV shows, some good fantasy. I mean, I'm 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 been watch Merlin a million times, which is a good series, but I want uh, something similar to that. You know, I love knights. I love samurai. I love magic, and it's just like it's nothing in there nowadays. I mean, especially with shows. Like, 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 uh, oh my God. I think I, I went, I looked and found something look interesting. And I looked on it and I watched it. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. I think it was maybe a year ago. This was back when I still had cable. Vagrant Queen. My God, that show was horrible. I, the worst show I've ever watched. I, I, I literally was like, they must want me to kill myself because this is trash. You know, I'm not saying I would do it, but I'm just saying this shit is just horrible. These shows these days are trash. I mean, I remember when people used to say Enterprise was trash, and I was like, nah, this is decent. I mean, Enterprise, I know a lot of people don't like Enterprise or Voyager. I enjoy all of them. It's not Star Trek series I didn't like until Discovery came. I even liked it. The first Star Trek movie, I mean, hindsight 2020, at the time I liked it, all three of them, and then you watch them back the second time and you realize, hold up, something's not right here. And I didn't realize how messed up the Star Trek movies were until I watched them back. Because see, I didn't re-watch any of them right away. But if you rewatch all of them and you're and you know some knowledge of Star Trek, situations happen and it's like, wait a minute, that didn't happen in the original series. And then certain situations just don't make sense. You know, and it's just like, hmm. And I, it wasn't as bad as I thought it could have been, but it was nowhere near as good as it could have been. I mean, I've been loving Star Trek since I was six. I'm basically finna be 30 this year, and it's like, well, actually, I'm 29, but I'm going to be 30, and it's just like, TV is at an all-time low. I remember when Xena and Hercules was on as a small kid, and that shit was awesome, you know, and it's like, shows today has more budget than ever, and it's fucking trash. I don't hate Netflix. But it's a sea of shit, and every once in a while I can find a gem. That's how I feel like. I'm not saying it's not everything is trash, but it's a lot of shows on there. It's just, oh, my God, that fucking sucks. And the shit, they'd be like, oh, that's number one. I'd be like, oh, my God, that's trash. And I know a lot of people like, a lot of people ask me, how can you like The Vampire Diary? I don't know why. I just, I've always had an obsession with vampires too. That's another one, and it's like it's sad to me to see how what vampires what was was at one point back in the nineties. You watched eighties movies, even early two thousands and twenty tens into, and then Twilight happened. Fucking Twilight killed one of my favorite genres to the point where it's like I don't even want to see a vampire movie anymore. They're stuck on a small screen. You know? Because why make a vampire movie when it's only two hours anyway? And a lot of vampire movies nowadays are just, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a big movie person, but I watch vampire movies. I watch vampire movies and Star Trek movies. That was kind of my thing and Power Rangers and shit like that. But that's another story. I hate the Power Ranger movie from 27. Well, you actually, I don't hate it. I'm, I'm going to tell you. I did not hate it, but I did not love it. It was like, okay. It wasn't nowhere good as the original series, and their suits looked like fucking trash. Like, that was the... It wasn't even like the, base, the basic changes of race-swapping characters. 
that didn't bother me. The bothering part was when they made their suits look like fucking trash. Like, I actually liked the story somewhat, but I felt like it could have went a little longer. And they didn't do enough fighting in the movie. It was more storyline, which I, I do like storyline, but it's a Power Rangers movie. You're supposed to have some martial arts, some fighting, something, and it felt like it didn't have enough fighting in it. And they had to morph to fight putties, which was kind of like... They never really, I mean, yeah, they did the first time, but it, it felt like, I don't know, they just made the Power Rangers seem like they were way weaker than in the TV series. And um, luckily, I got season one of Power Rangers on DVD. Hopefully, I could find the rest of them, of the classics, because the first six seasons are perfect togetherness. I know it's a kid's show. A lot of people are like, it was a kid. Yeah, but the first six seasons all connect. And I, those probably are the best seasons. Now I got to try to find Big Bad Beetle Warg and BR Troopers because it's no longer on Netflix. And I probably should have been bought the DVDs, but, you know, Netflix, I didn't know shit would leave. I've been Netflix for a long time, and lately I've been noticing shit been leaving that I actually like. So now I'm like, Fuck. I got to try to find a way to get DVDs in a situation where it's like, nobody got a lot of money anyway, but it's like, I want to watch my shit. I mean, the fucked up part is so many good shows out there, you just can't get anymore because they don't make DVDs anymore because they're all trying to stream everything. And streaming is good, but that good for all these companies. I mean, it's good for Netflix and Amazon. Ah, Hulu. I feel like Hulu is a better service. I think Hulu, I mean, it's not nowhere near as good as Netflix, but Hulu should, Disney Plus shouldn't even exist. They should have just made Hulu um, international because I think that was probably the second best streaming service at one point. Now it's more third. I like Netflix. I've never used Amazon, and I 